Video 4, Moving Forward. We are all kind of reminded that we are ambassadors um, for people with our disability, and I, I think that holds true for anyone with any disability. The big key is you have to voice what your need is, and the drivers are terrific about helping, but if you don't ask, they don't know what to tell you, they don't know how to help you. Our drivers have all been trained. If you see somebody out there that's disoriented, somebody who needs help, walk up, introduce yourself, and offer to help them. Because uh, visually impaired people come in all sizes, shapes, and attitudes, you might get someone who said, oh, I can do it myself, like a grouch. Or somebody will, might say, oh, yes, thank you. And most often it's going to be, I need help finding my stop. Sometimes the automated announcements don't work, and the person has no idea where the bus is at and what stop is theirs. And the thing the driver needs to be aware of is that we aren't necessarily going to know the cross street. We, we can't tell you it's at Dearborn because somebody gave us the address. Some people use landmarks to orient themselves. Some people use streets. Some people don't even know their streets. And the person is telling them what street they're at and, and that's not how they get around, in which case, it is very helpful if the bus driver knows where they're getting off and can tell them, okay, you know, you wanted uh, Madrona and Liberty and here we are, we're at your stop. As a dry, blind person or any other handicapped person, if you know the address, call customer service at, Cherry Lift, or at Chariots and they do a great job of interpreting what the cross street is given the, given the address. We have got some absolutely terrific drivers who are extremely conscientious. I have one driver that always, always, always makes sure that I'm past that bus signpost before I get off because I can't necessarily see it in the bright afternoon sunlight and I have gotten off the bus and realized the post was right in the middle of my face and I'd almost stepped into it. I've had people get off the bus and, you know, I tell them where they need to go and I didn't realize that they weren't oriented and I'm driving off and I'm like, they're going the wrong direction. What do you do? You know, it, sometimes you just have to lose the time, stop the bus and go get them on the right, because they're walking into the middle of nowhere. They don't know where they're going. You got to stop. You got to help them. What I do now as a little challenge and a good way to spend a couple hours in a day to get to know people, routes. I'll go downtown and buy a day pass and I can go anywhere and pick a bus. Here any of them that I can hear that go places that I, I don't know about. Do it again the next week and pretty soon it'll be like on your normal route you'll start hearing the announcements and you'll get to know where you're at and you'll be familiar with people getting on and off. You want to seek help from professionals. So um, if you um, qualify for the services for the Oregon Commission for the Blind, you want to sign up with us and you want to get orientation and mobility training. We work in partnership with Blind Skills. Um, we refer clients there for support and um, for um, skills and independence. Um, Marja and others have participated in um, panel discussions with us in um, helping our clients to kind of realize what they can do as a blind person and the things that they can accomplish um, and that they do have opportunities and they can get the skills to do things that everyone else is doing. I intend to use this video in the Blind Skills office when we have people that are, are newly blind who are afraid to use the fixed route bus system that it's okay. People will be there to help you. Ask questions, you will be supportive. You've got a travel trainer that is willing to work with you one on one to help lose to help use the bus system so you can be as independent as, as those white cane users that people see around town and sometimes may think that we're, we don't have that much of a vision problem or maybe we're faking it. No, we just have confidence in what we're doing and by using the fixed route buses, it is a huge boon to our independence to go where we want to go, when we want to go. I'm a firm believer that anything that is thrown at us in life, you find a way to overcome. That's part of the human spirit. 
and I see that really manifest in them. Very tremendous strength. Uh, I mean, people can live their life as a victim if they want, or they can say, I choose to overcome. And what I see is, is these people, particularly those who arrive with us, choose to overcome, and I admire that. Travel training is a free instructional program designed to help people use public transportation on chariots and carts buses through trip planning assistance and route guidance. This program is open to everyone, but focuses on seniors and people with disabilities. Individuals and groups can sign up for travel training. For more information about travel training or route information, call Chariots at 503-588-2877 or visit Chariots online at www.chariots.org. Blind Skills Inc. offers many resources, including two support groups a month at their offices in downtown Salem. You can find them online at www.blindskills.com or call them at 503-581-4224.